61-year-old Morgan Changira is not new to Zimbabwe politics. A longtime rival of incumbent President Robert Mugabe. In 1999, the trade union leader was appointed leader of the Movement for Democratic Change, otherwise known as MDC. His first time at running for the presidency was in 2002. After the March 2008 elections, it seemed he was on the verge of finally unseating President Mugabe. He gained the most votes, but according to official results, not enough to win outright. He pulled out before a runoff was held due to widespread violence aimed at his supporters. This choice is not just a political choice, but it is a generational choice. Wa Mugabe belongs to a generation which fought for our independence. But now we belong to a generation that is fighting for democratic change. Following pressure from the 15-nation Southern African Development Community in 2009, Mugabe and Changirai formed a unity government. Mugabe retained the presidency and Changirai became prime minister. However, Changirai's political rise has not been smooth sailing. His image has been tarnished by corruption allegations and complicated love affairs since his first wife, Susan, died in a car crash in 2009. Critics say he has been too busy enjoying the trappings of power and has ignored the people he said he was fighting for. I am a survivor. I was beaten and incarcerated for no good reason. I was treated like a common criminal, but I am not bitter. I have reflected upon everything that has happened to me and to my family, and I have forgiven my tormentors. As Prime Minister, his ability to shape policy has been severely curtailed by his coalition partners. As he heads into yet another electoral contest against Mugabe, it is not clear whether he is finally on the verge of real power or whether joining his former enemy has fatally damaged his long-held goal of becoming Zimbabwe's president. Carol Oyola, CCTV.